Bernie Sanders going all in on his controversial plan to let felons, including terrorists like the Boston bomber, vote from prison. Bernie now taking it even further with these comparisons. I said that because the right to vote is essential. If you are a citizen, you have the right to vote. And that is a right we must protect because we know the history of this country. We know that women didn't have the right to vote. We know that African Americans didn't have the right to vote. Sanders is also slamming a Florida bill requiring felons to pay court fees before becoming eligible to vote as, quote, racist and unconstitutional. Okay, well, we just did what the frustrating thing was yesterday. Th those are two different things. What Bernie Sanders is talking about is people in prison mm -hmm. being allowed to vote. The thing in Florida is not good. It is a bill that um, is passed by the, the House version. The, it's going to the state Senate version is different. It is, separate. It, is, it is for people who have gotten out of prison, who have paid their debt to society. They are out of prison, and they are trying to put additional constraints on them. That is a separate topic mm -hmm. from what Bernie Sanders is talking about. Sorry. So here's my <laughs> point to you, which is Bernie Sanders is moving this conversation uh, incrementally. Okay. And no. you don't want to hear it, but That's I think... That's not true. I, I, true. I, I, I'm going to take a back seat Go on ahead. restoring... Restoration of felon voting rights. I'm not. No, you're I'm talking saying about you're right. from you the agree beginning. With you agree with felon on restoring restoring uh, felon voting rights right. once they get out of prison. Of course, Correct. yes, and I so, do. But that is not what Bernie Sanders was talking about. That wasn't the initial you, thing the other day. And him moving the conversation incrementally is to try to save face for what happened the other day because the entire Democratic Party now is like, whoa, wait, what did he say? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to answer for that. And I wonder what Joe Biden will say. I bet he'll have a better answer. Well, I think <laughs> he may have a different answer, but I think it's a conversation starter. Boy, everybody's talking about. It, Dana. And hey, I when think Dana gets reason, that bad, <laughs> yeah, there's Juan, a reason take that the L. everybody's talking <laughs> about it. And you got to say, you know what, Bernie, you have done something here because lots of people. Oh, yeah. were Let's reluctant. give Bernie a round of applause. Let the Boston this... bomber vote. Good job, Bernie. Way to yeah. start a conversation. The mayor, is the mayor because... of Boston is even like, what is he talking about? Because... You know what, Bernie should start well, more conversations. Like yours, Bernie. <laughs> what I mean, you guys act as if that America isn't having this conversation. America, America is isn't. America's not having that conversation. They are having this conversation. No, there's, I, there's, I, I Why guarantee do you, you think we're talking. I about guarantee it? you, there's no, oh, there's no oh, family sitting around the table. About going like, you know what? The Boston no. bomber really should no. vote in the next election. Yeah, you know, I think he could run for president. No. I think Sarnoff would make a great presidential no. candidate. Yeah. He could be a progressive candidate. Well, you can make a caricature, but the real point is... Uh, I don't have to. Yeah. You're doing it. No, yeah. right. I think that, in fact, there's an important <laughs> point to be topic. made about citizenship. Like and Bernie, like <laughs> Earl Warren, the former Chief Justice, all say... You don't base citizenship you, on who you like one, or this crime or that crime. But one, now you're That's arguing the point. Yeah. You weren't arguing the point before. I'm you were trying to switch. Point. The same no. point no, if you open not. your ears. Oh, Juan, Juan. Let's argue the point, though, Juan. <laughs> do you think the Boston bomber should be able to vote in 2020? No, uh, do I think? I haven't considered except Whoa, for this. What do you mean? Oh. We've been doing this segment no, for two no. days. <laughs> I don't, because Answer guess what? the question, yes I, or no. I think that your citizenship rights are not to be revoked because you don't like me. And if you say okay. in what jail, so me? that's a yes. No, hey, could, here's the can Sarnoff have a gun here. in prison too? Because that's a Second no. Amendment right. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a Second <laughs> Amendment right. Not, Maybe you could have a gun. But All inmates have guns. Here, I just want to. I just want to say, look, 22 states right now will restore. A, a felons uh, voting yeah. rights after a, for a period Hooray. after release Hooray. and Hooray. then you have in fact 14 states that say you lose your rights all right, Juan, we're right? for that all right we've hey. been talking about this for three days now and as you guys know I spend a lot of time with inmates and I correspond with them regularly so I've gotten a lot of emails from them in the last two days first of all they watch this show they are not all flaming liberals. Do they like animals or grapes? They're sending, they're sending How do they, they, like or, or do they like party jokes? <laughs> yes, they love you guys. Okay. They um, shouldn't be watching the five. The oh, no. they, that's, that's another right. There that should be go. deprived. No, 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 let them have cable. Oh, let them have cable. I don't want them to watch no. the five. No, we don't need the rating. We're like number one in the country. We don't need Listen, inmates. They CNN gets to airports. Too. I want prisons. <laughs> they are people, too. There's more people, too. Oh, my God. But here's the point, that there's three sections of this conversation. There's there's the violent terrorists, whatever, voting from prison. There's the incarcerated nonviolent offenders that really this conversation is about. And there's the post-incarceration subject to the fines and everything, which is a ridiculous, yes, secondary imprisonment. And my point in bringing that up is that there's a lot of sentiments that in the nonviolent realm, you guys, not everyone in there is like the, the grim yes, reaper. We, we know. Can I respond to you? Can I respond to that? I think you're making, you're actually addressing the point that Bernie 
has screwed up so badly. The problem is there's a perception of the left that they are soft in cr on crime. They're anti-law enforcement, let's face it. They were anti-cops, everything. So no one takes it seriously when somebody like, when Bernie Sanders comes out and says that, it fulfills the stereotype. It's t a terrible yeah. thing to run on. Whereas if a Republican came up and said, you know, it's time for prison reform, and I'm interested in those nonviolent offenders having the right to vote. Everybody goes, well, it's a Republican. And normally, they're strong on crime, so maybe I'll listen to him. You see, it's, it's, uh, it's yeah, a perception yeah, I issue. Yeah, I know they totally. want you to tease. Can I just add one other thing? Yeah, of course. So Senators Heidkamp and Donnelly, who lost um, in the midterms, um, they are Democrats. They are starting a new entity to try to help Democrats talk to people in rural America. Well, <laughs> guess what? Here's your first lesson. What did Mayor Pete say when he was asked on that same night in the CNN town hall, do you think that felons get a right to vote you know, in, while they're incarcerated? He, he said, said no. no. Yeah. That's how you talk to people in America. In Indiana. And yeah. no. That well, be. everywhere, for that matter, and except I do, in jail. We have to <laughs> address the Vermont. fact that the, these, these guys are they're counted in these legislative populations. That's the other thing. It's just not about I the know, vote. But it's such a larger have your so, freedom taken away from you because yeah. you're, you're not allowed movement. You, your freedom has been taken away. You cannot leave. Therefore, I don't see the difference between saying that you then also can't vote and exactly. you get out. Exactly, because then because I should be able counted. to have my gun, too, right? If I want to have my voting rights, I want to have my gun you rights. You just the twist the whole argument. I didn't twist it. That's called twist the whole argument. That's called consistency. You can't even recognize consistency. You can't have an honest conversation if you're going to twist it. Yeah, we're all liars. Please, we're not changing the subject. We're not changing the subject. If you're saying that this is about giving prisoners guns, you understand you're just twisting the read argument. Jonathan no. Swift. Read right. Jonathan Swift. It's yeah. a logical extension of the argument. You should read the Constitution because the Constitution says... Oh,